it's Mummy Tang. Oh my god, so I was about to film mukbang, right? All right. I was about to seriously, I, I, I did my intro already, okay? And then I hear ding dong at my doorstep. I'm like, who could that be? And I got a box delivered, a box. Bring it over here, Peyton. Show them what we got. You know how on YouTube they do like opening packages and stuff like that? Well, I always want to do that. And this is my first open the box for YouTube, okay? So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from somebody and this person said to me, oh, Mommy Tank, thank you so much for supporting us and blah, 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 the email goes on and I'm like oh thanks and this company said we've been asking the customer who's sending you to our company and so many of you guys said mommy tang mommy tang mommy tang so they got back to me are you ready to open this with me I got so excited I got like the biggest knife <laughs> wait stay back I have a knife <sighs> you know Casey and I said I watched him he does this all the time I can't do it I'm kind of scared but he does this in a oh, way. Ready? Open! Oh my gosh, wait, wait, stop! Oh my, oh my god, wait, stop! No! I'm getting the shivers right now! I gotta enjoy this moment! Stop! Stop! First, I got this little letter or the invoice or whatever and some tissue papers. And I got a t shirt. If I get if I put the t-shirt on, you guys will know what it is. Ready? Ta-da! Ta-da! Mother-in-law's kimchi! Guys, thank you! They got back to me! It says I'm probiotic! <laughs> and at the back it says, one nation under mother-in-law's kimchi fermentation guys i'm gonna wear this okay and let's let's see what they gave me okay open this up open this up show me oh my gosh one by one at a time one at a time let's see what they gave me okay they they know i'm vegan so you know if this product is not vegan i'm, I'm gonna call them back and say like hello not vegan mother-in-law's gochujang oh my god wait guys look at this wait wait Mother in law's gochujang. Look at what it says at the end. It's tangy. It's tangy. Mother tangy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So they sent me that. Ooh! Mother in law's fermented chili sauce. This one with garlic. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is uh, mother in law's gochujang. Sesame. Ooh! Ooh, they sent me some Korean chili flakes. Guys, I'm really up in life. You know what I mean? When people send you free stuff, that's when you're like, I made it. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And the last one. Ooh. Ooh, extra spicy. I was hoping they sent me some kimchi, but this this will do. Seriously, guys, this was not planned in my video today. It just just came now. Oh my gosh. And they're playing with the bubbles. You hear them? Okay, enough, cut it out, cut it out. Amazing news about this company, right? So when they emailed to me, it doesn't end here, guys. It does not, okay? So when they emailed me today, I mean, the other day, I was like, that's great that you wanna send me some good stuff. I said, thank you. Yes, I said, thank you, but, <laughs> You need to do a giveaway, you know? I mean, my audience, you know, I, I have viewers. You, you, know, you gotta send some love to them. So they're like, oh, that's a great idea. We're working on together to come up with an idea to do a giveaway for you guys. The only problem is, they said they could only send it to USA residents. I'm sorry, if you're out of the country, you cannot get it. But we are coming out with ideas to look out for my giveaway videos because do you remember the noodles I said I was gonna do? Who made this? This is mine. And today I was gonna use this. This is not what they gave me, this was mine. I was gonna put this in my recipe today, but they gave me this. I'm gonna be like, eeny meeny miny mo. I'm gonna pick everything and eat it today. Are you ready for the recipe? <laughs> I am. When I first started doing Instagram, a lot of company, they actually, if you have 
pretty much good followings. They actually contact you and say, we'll send you some stuff. Can you, you know, you know, do our product in your, you know, your photo and stuff like that. And I did uh, quite a bit, but for me to do this on YouTube, my first giveaway, kimchi, mother-in-law, I mean, that is that a coincidence or what? That's like, I don't know. Just put one and one together and you get this. Oh my god, mother-in-law though. I want some free kimchi though. This is like a little bit, you know. <laughs> Just being a little greedy here. I got all excited. I didn't even know that, like the camera was all, you know, on focus and all. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Back to reality. Okay, so today's uh, recipe is about old rice, okay? Let me just give you a little story before I go on, okay? Mommy Tang, last night, two of my girlfriends came over to my house and so I made all your recipes and I made so much rice, but they ended up getting into a fight and then before we even had dinner, they left. And now I'm stuck with two friends who are fighting. I'm stuck in the middle. And I have so much rice left over. See? I don't know what to do. Help me, Mommy Tay. <laughs> Mommy Tay to the rescue. So today, I'm going to teach you what to do with your old rice on top of that. I'm also going to talk about my mukbang topic will be what to do in a sticky situation with cat fights, girlfriend fights. You know what I mean? When you're stuck in a, in a situation like that. We'll talk about it. Ready? Let's do this. Go kimchi! Go kimchi! Turn around. Say go kimchi! Go kimchi! <laughs> Somebody also said to me yesterday, I think it was comment from yesterday, he said, oh, change up some of your menu. You eat too much kimchi with everything. Ah. Oh, now this is, it's my turn now. Today, I'm going to do a recipe without a kimchi, okay? And you tell me if you want me to go back to eating kimchi or not, okay? You tell me that on the comment today, okay? In life, anything that you do, in life, anything you do, you have to be organized. If you're not organized, then you're just gonna be in a mess, you know what I mean? So same right, just first thing that you want to do is just kind of calculate how many people are gonna eat and all that stuff. But like a sticky situation, sometimes you make a lot and then you have a lot left over, right? So instead of leaving it out in the cold, in the room temperature or in the refrigerator, you want to scoop the rice out when it's hot and you wanna put it in either a Ziploc bag or saran wrap and then wrap it and then put it in the freezer. And then when you put it in the freezer, it's good for like a month or two because they're plant-based. So when you make soup, when you make noodles, ramen noodles, if you need rice or if you could microwave it, whatever you want to do, when you need rice quickly, you could use that frozen rice. It'll be just like frozen vegetables, okay? So that's option one. Now, let's say you forgot to freeze your rice and then you have something like this, okay? And they're cold and you don't know what to do. Wow. Let me just teach you what you could do, okay? You could make two recipes out of old rice. Are we ready? Let's do this again. Okay, so you're going to get a fry pan. I use non-stick fry pan on a lot of my recipes because, you know, I don't know why, I just do, okay? Okay, so heat, medium, high. Do you remember last time, one of my recipes, I forgot what it was. <laughs> I told you what you could do with your old rice. You could pour water and then boil it and ease it like eat it like a soup Well, this is another option that you could do. So what you want to do is you want to scoop your rice out, okay? <laughs> I know what some of your Korean viewers are saying to me. She's like, oh my mommy thing The translation will go down on the here, okay? So just slap it on, don't worry about spreading anything, you know what I mean? They're not gonna spread well because they're stuck together and they're hard, a little bit like, like a soft pebbles almost, you know what I mean? Now next step is, you're going to add little, little bit of water and you're going to spread the rice. You notice I didn't use any oil? That's right, no oil people, okay? Don't be frying now, okay? You hear that? And as soon as the water goes in, the rice is gonna spread like butter. 
you know? You know, the funny thing is not even, not many Koreans even know about this. That's the weirdest thing. Koreans actually buy this in the supermarket. They sell these. I just find that very what weird. What you make it? You'll see. Why would you buy this when you can make it at home? It's so easy, you know what I mean? It's like going, I don't know. I guess people buy weird stuff. I never bought nudungji before, you know? Hello. To spread it really good, almost like, you know what I mean? Like you're making a... I don't know what you make. Just spread it good, okay? Don't make it thick. You're trying to make it pretty thin, but not too thin. You know what I mean? It's almost like making a sushi, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so the best way to actually cook this is in low, low heat for like 15, 20 minutes. So the best way to actually cook this is when you're doing the dishes or when you're watching mommy tang or something and have this going very low so you almost you forget about it but because it's so low, it'll never burn. Something like that, you know? If you're in a hurry, and if you have to eat this fast, then do it in a little bit higher heat, but you just have to make sure you don't burn the rice, okay? We don't want no burn, we just want to toast the rice, okay? And I'll show you when it's done. It takes a little bit of time. I'll be back, okay? Let me do a couple of shout outs while I wait for the rice because this morning I got some Snapchat and said, Oh, Mommy Chan, can you give me a shout out? I was like, Sure, honey. Let's see. First one comes from Megan Lousy or Lucy. I'm so sorry. I can never, I can't even pronounce like <laughs> sometimes like the easiest name, like Lara. I'm like, Lara, Laura. I can't. Ugh. Hello. The next shout out comes from. Y3S3Nia.21 She's really pretty. Yeah, hello. Let me do a couple questions while I get this going. You know, let's see. Since, you know, our mukbang topics about, you know, girlfriends and dramas and stuff like that. But I could sneak a little bit of question here and there. I don't think it will hurt anybody. Hey mommy Tan, can you do the topic on how to get your kids to eat properly? Kids don't eat properly, okay? If you expect your kids to sit there and like, mm, mommy, this is wonderful. This is excellent. I mean, just, I mean, that's a proper way, right? You can't expect that. But I do have a little tip, okay? Trick is, people ask me all the time. Now, we eat out a lot, a lot. And you know, it's funny because when we go into the restaurant, people always say, for how many? And I'm like, yeah, two adults, four kids. And they're like, oh, okay, come this way. And they put us like right in the corner and they think that we're gonna make so much noise, especially when we go to a fancy restaurant. We go to fancy restaurants a lot. You know what I mean? Like the fancy, fancy. And they don't want to see babies cry there because there's other um, people that's eating there, maybe on a romantic date. Maybe they're like, you know, whatever they're doing. But every time we leave, we get compliments from a lot of tables around us. They say, oh my God, your kids behave so well. They eat so well. They're so cute. I really never went to a restaurant and they start bashing our kids because they weren't behaving. But this is the key. Number one key is you need to practice eating together at home first. We eat dinner almost every day as a family, okay? At least once a week, we eat with their grandparents. So they learn that kind of behavior where when there's an adult being, you know how to behave, you know? I teach them stuff like that. And when we go out in a restaurant, usually I ask for, um, can you bring the food later? So they're like, oh, you want your kids food first? I'm like, no, I'm just gonna wait, you know? So we eat together and you just have to do it a lot, you know? It's a matter of taking them out a lot and just kind of like, you gotta figure it out because a lot of people, they're like, oh, I can't do this with my kids. I can't go out with my kids. You know, I'm just gonna have a babysitter. I'm just gonna go out. And if you make that into a habit, the day that you do take your kids out, you're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. You know, all their lives, my kids, they've been with me everywhere we go. They're used to it. They know how to act, you know? So like I said, the best advice is just go out a lot with them. If you want them to behave a certain way in a restaurant, then just go out, okay? Okay. okay, let me just tell you what to do now. Okay, at this point, you'll be like, okay, it's steaming, it's making the pop pop noise. Everybody, freeze! Listen for the noise. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> so 
you might be hearing all this noise, right? You'd be like, okay, it's done. Okay. Towards the end, you hear a lot of popping noise, almost like a popcorn. You know how in popcorn, when you first put it in, it's like, and at the end, it's like, you know, you're like, oh my God. Same thing, same concept here, okay? Just wait for the noise. And also, if you go like this, okay, and if they're still sticking to each other, like if they're still stuck to the fry pan and they're, they're still mushy, they're not done, okay? This is like a, I don't know, something, this is something that you need about 20, 30 minutes. It's like a simplest thing to make, but it just takes time. But like I remember, remember what I said, just put it in low heat and forget about it. Do your thing, put makeup on, do your, I don't know, do the dishes, you know, talk to your boyfriend, go on Snapchat, do whatever those things, one of those, okay? You know, kissing and wiping is not allowed. You know how I feel about that. You know, you know how I feel about you wiping after you give me a kiss. Don't wipe. Are you dying to wipe? No, I get over here. Good. Just scratch. Don't wipe. I'm gonna look away. If I look away and you you wipe or anything, I I'm gonna be upset. Okay? I don't know why. Kissing and wiping. That's not allowed. Some of you are like, I don't have Snapchat. What are you on Snapchat, you know? This is the stuff that I do okay, on Snapchat. I'll show you. Hi guys, it's me, Mommy Twang. I am currently filming mukbang for you guys. I can't wait to share. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Those are the stuff that I sent to Snapchat. I'm just crazy that way. Oh my God, did you tell, did I tell you yesterday? I revealed my husband on Snapchat, guys. Whoever follows me on Snapchat, you know they, you guys saw my husband, you wanna see? Come over here, they wanna see you. Come over here, show them your face. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you are so mean. I was like, what's a Snapchat? You're supposed to laugh at Snapchat. You want me to get all serious or something on Snapchat? I don't know. Okay, it's coming through. It's coming through. See how it's getting like stuck to the pan now? But it's still, like the rice is still soft. And when you try to lift it, lift it and it's still like stuck to the pan, it's not ready. Okay, that's how you know. You're like, is this ready? If you, try, if you have to scrape it off, it's not ready. When it's ready, it'll just come off with ease. It'll just Ah, oh, I hate the waiting game. If you're not a patient person and you do this on a really high heat, that you're gonna burn the rice. It's not gonna taste right. See how it's coming off? Look how easy that's coming off. Do you see that, guys? You see that? Do you see what I'm doing? Look, okay, I'll do it again. Look. See how they're stuck together? The smell, the aroma of this rice here is like so toasty. Let me get, get up. Now some of the pieces might be like a little stuck, but if you do it in a, like a non-stick surface, guys, this is so good, okay? And then what do I do is like, I do this, okay, look. Have you ever seen people do this on TV? You know, I do it too, look. Oh, sorry, that, that was a little disaster. Oh God, Never mind. I failed. I'm really good. Usually I'm pretty good. I just, today I just really off. Sorry. Okay, so usually if you do it right, it should be like in a... Usually if you do it right, it should be in a round circle and it won't break. So you want to do that for both sides. <laughs> Obviously, this is like one of the failed mukbang. <sighs> but anyway, so you want to do that for both sides, okay? But I'm going to stop here because I, I have another recipe to show you. But guys, listen. I just want you to listen, okay? This is what I mean. This is just rice, nothing else. Listen.
You don't need anything else. Just rice. It tastes so amazing. In Korea, it's called Nurungji. Nurungji. So good. I might just eat it all before I start with another recipe. So what you want to do is you want to cool them off. If they're close to both sides, you want to cool them off, okay? Basically, what you're doing to the rice is you're kind of making crostini. You do know what crostinis are, right? They're little bread pieces. They're just dry. You know, like croutons, crotinis. That's what this is. Right, it's just dried up. You know, you, you suck the moisture out and you're just toasting it, you're drying it. With like toasty drying it, you know? So what you want to do is, I usually say, you could just store it in the room temperature, but because, you know, the air and the rice, whatever, the, the moisture will just kind of disappear from them. They'll get really hard, like almost like a rock. So what you want to do is you want to, again, store them in the Ziploc bag in your freezer, okay? And once you put them in the freezer, you can't, it won't taste good if you eat it like chips, like how I eat it just now, like this. This only tastes good when, they're, when you make it, like fresh, like this, like right away, when the rice is still hot. It tastes good like that. But after, once it dries out, mm, for like a half day or so, it's still good. The next day, it just won't do you good. Or even if you take it out of the refrigerator, it won't taste good. So what you need to do at that point is to make this. Are you ready? Some Koreans call this nurungji tang. Some Koreans call it, you know, just nurungji. Some people call it sungyung. Sungyung is the, the water that comes out of the broth here. So there's a many, there's many, many ways to eat this. But what you need to do is you just put the toasted rice into a pot, okay? I'm just going to put everything in here because I kind of ruined this. <laughs> I'm just going to bring it to boil. That's it. Just in case for those nosy people out there. You know, somebody also asked me, Oh, you must have so much mukbang in your... Um, you know, in your, at your house, are you just posting? No, I actually make mukbang for lunch and I post it that night. So I don't have an extra mukbang for you. So if I get really sick or something like that, tomorrow there's no mukbang, okay? No. If you just boil water and rice, it won't give you this toasty flavor. This has like the ricey, toasty flavor. You guys are gonna love. Mm. And the best thing about this, is that, you know, in the middle of the night, like really late at night, you're watching me and you're like, oh, mommy, can you make me hungry, but I don't want to eat anything heavy. This is a perfect thing to eat. I'll show you what you could eat with, too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Now, some people like to cook this like really quick and make it like mully mushy. It's up to you. I like mine a little bit, you know, like I could feel the, the little, you know, the crunchy rice. I like mine like that, so. It's up to you. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. I get the golden one. Okay, look. Mmm. Mm hmm That's gonna look good. That looks good, right? Doesn't it look good? Amazing? Yeah. Broth that's in here like this, this, you could drink it as a tea. We call that sung You know, the old, like grandpa and grandma, they love this soup. Oh my gosh, so good, guys. Look at that. Mm. Excellent. So it's like mommy Tang. Oh god, you're always eating kimchi. Take out some menus. <laughs> so today I'm going to eat this cucumber all to myself. Okay? And I'm gonna show you a really yummy, easy way to eat it. You're just gonna cut it right in the middle, like so. You're gonna cut it in the middle again. Like so. I got two balls. I got two balls. Thank you. And 
let me have some now. I just cut it into like a dipping. You know what I mean? Now my plan was to just dip this in regular gochujang. You know the gochujang I always talk about? That was my plan today too. <laughs> you know what happened this morning. So I'm gonna try these two tangy sauce and sesame because you know how I love sesame protein protein and the tangy, you know mommy tang, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna open that up. Sesame, let's try the sesame. <laughs> I'm using a different finger. People are like double dipping you. It's a different finger, okay? Let's see. Sesame. How does it taste? Mmm. How does it taste? Mmm. I must be really Korean though, because I really like this one. This is good for like I think like barbecuing or something like that. It has a little bit of oil in it too. Can I use this bowl? Maybe it's probably like a sesame oil. Can I use this bowl? Yeah, here. I'm gonna give her some of my soup. Yummy, that looks, that looks good. I know, here. Ah, we might as well go all out. Let's try the garlic one. Mmm. <laughs> This garlic one was really good. Wow. I am very impressed. My first favorite, no, this is a regular gochujang. And the uh, extra spicy, I'm not gonna try the extra spicy because I don't wanna go like, you know, into the bathroom all day today. So I have these three sauces. One is uh, regular tangy, sesame, and garlic. I like the tangy one the, the best. In my opinion, I really like the garlic one. And this was okay, but... <sighs> That's all I'm going to say about it. No kimchi? No, but... Listen, people can be complaining to me. You eat kimchi all the time with your meals, okay? Remember I told you this meal is perfect for night, okay? So at night, when you have no kimchi... Yeah. I live in... I don't know, like... A lot of people say to me, I live in Sweden or Australia or something. I can't find kimchi, okay? I'm going to show you an awesome recipe to uh, make kimchi out of. But for today, we're just going to eat... Pickles! So it's regular old dill pickle. Do you have any idea how good this is? Just pickle and rice? I eat it all the time. And people are like, is it good? I'm like, yeah, it's good. I had it. I ate this when I had a bump, right? Yeah, and this is perfect oh for kids. If kids like pickle, rice, make this for you with your rice and I don't know if you guys could find this. I mean, I'm sure you guys could find the chip, chipped pickles. This is, I think, made in like, I think this is made locally. I'm not sure. Okay? I'm not sure. Yeah. But I don't like to buy the ones in the, the glass jar where you have to buy it like in the aisles. I like the one, the fresh one where you can find it in the produce section. That's the one that I get. Okay, so let's eat. Let's try some pickles. Okay. Uh... What do you mean? I feed you all the time. You can't feed me one? Uh, mm. So good. Mm. Life is about simple. Okay? Simplicity. I'm not going to double dip because I want to save this sauce, you know, so... Again, I forgot to bring another spoon. I'm just gonna use the tip of my chopstick for the other side to be really ghetto about it. Mmm! Payton time! Payton, it's time to eat! Payton, it's time to eat! Oh my god, guys. The garlic sauce? It's amazing. Mm. 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 Let me have one. Mm. 
try. Sometimes the things that you have in your refrigerator already, you haven't never thought of. We just need a little spark, you know, to get the things going. It doesn't even feel what good. What was our topic today? Gosh. My bag. Yeah. We put the wood in the pot. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. I need the pickle with the, with the pot with the wood too. Yeah. What? That's nice. Yeah. I said so good. I slept so straight. You know away. why you slept so good? Yeah. But well, you kicked my face a couple times. <laughs> That's right. You did. You kicked my face a couple times. That's why you slept good. You're like, yes. Guys, like I said, okay? If you can't find this, mm, if you can find this, must buy it. Try it, okay? Really good. If you don't have that, just use regular gochujang. If you don't have regular gochujang, use miso paste. Just a very tiny bit. Miso paste, just add a little bit of water. You know, make it a little bit creamy, like, you know, like a little bit thinner. I guess thin it out and just dip it. Okay? That, that, I don't, but one's dripping, it's dripping. So good. Um, no, my food. Okay, my food. You eat your food. Okay. I don't eat it though. No, no, my food. Okay. okay. Kids feeding me and all. Mm. What is it you need to do? <laughs> you can't eat it. it. What? Wipe it. Wipe it? Yeah. What am I? What am I? That's a towel. I don't have a towel. You see a towel around me? What are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hit. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it good? Oh, Ember, you're almost done? Yes. Are you sad? Yeah. So guys, to the topic. Mama Sam, what do I do? My girls are, my girlfriends are fighting and I don't know what to do. I hate being in a sticky middle situation. My advice mm -hmm. is to listen and shut this off. Okay, that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Listen and Okay, let me give you an example. There's, if there's a fight between two girls, okay, this is usually, a, we're talking about cat fights, okay? Guys don't do this. Guys, I'll tell you why later too. When two girls fight, and it's just between them two, it's, it's not that bad. The fight is not that bad. The third wheel gets in, that's when the fight gets big. The third wheel, this third wheel person, okay? So if you like the third wheel, it's very important. What you do, it's what you do in the middle. It could, it, there's a potential of them going like this again or like this, okay? Let's say you fight with the, a friend A and you're friends with friend B and they're fighting, okay? If you go to A's house and say, and a friend A is like, oh my gosh, can you believe what B did to me? I am so upset. She's such a blah, 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 blah. Your job in the middle is to listen. Oh my gosh, yeah, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't go like, yeah. I remember she did that to me. Oh my God, she's such a bitch. You know, I hate her too, you know? Don't do that, just listen. Oh yeah, yeah. And if you want to say something, say something encouragement, like just, Say something nice, something like, yeah, I know she could, you know, she could be like that, but you know, you also know that she could be, you know, also nice and she, maybe she got the wrong idea. I don't know. I don't think she would do something like that, but I do totally understand you. Something like that. Okay. Now you go to friend B because B has to get it out. So friend B calls you like, oh my gosh, mommy's saying, please, can you please come over? I need to talk to you about A. You go over. 
You know, you gotta act like you never talked to A, right? And you're like, yeah, what's up? I can't believe A did this to me and blah, 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 blah. Now, if you go like, yeah, she told me, you know what she said about you? This and that and this and that. At that moment, the friend B, she's gonna love you because she's gonna think you're on the side. You're on her side, you know what I mean? A is gonna think you're on her side too. So right in the middle, you're gonna be like, yeah, they love me. But what happens? When A and B decide to be friends again, what happens to you? Mom, this friend A and friend B, they'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Let's be friends again. Yeah, but what did mommy saying today? Oh my god, mommy Tang told me this and that and this, and they'll be like, this. Meanwhile, I just had a spell. Meanwhile, you'll be like forever, the third wheel, okay? You don't want to be like that. You don't. A good friend, if you want to be a good friend, just listen, okay? And try to give him good advice. Don't fight, you know? Let's love. Fighting is not the answer for you. That's what you need to do in a sticky situation. I put a hand in. Don't worry, guys, don't fight like that. Because guys, when they go at it, it's usually one on one. They don't bring people into their problems, you know? Like, hey, you have my. Hey, yo, you have a problem with me? And the other one's like, yeah, man, let's go at it. They go to the parking lot, boom, boom, boom. They fight it off and they're done, you know? It's, it's girls. We get together, we're like, let's create some more problem, you know? So what I'm trying to say is to my pop to my pop mm -hmm. see that one she's mad at me I'm mad at her too we're mad at each other right now she wanted more rice I told her I didn't have any more she's mad I said you could have some of mine she's like I don't want yours I want my own I'm like, that's all I have. What am I going to do? She's just mad. Gosh. I'm giving advices to people. I'm like, I don't know what to do with sticky situation like this with my kid, you know? Oh my God, this is so good. Can I get a kiss, puppy? Do you love me again? You forgive me? But well, that's just my little advice for you. It's not even a little advice, really, because everybody knows this already, you know what I mean? So, I'm just making conversations. Sometimes you just have to make conversations just to make friends. Like, talk about something like not important. Like, oh, how's the weather today? Oh, the weather was great. Mm. Wasn't last week's weather great? I'm like, yeah, it was so great. Hmm. It was nice talking to you. Oh, it was nice talking to you too. Bye. You know? Get to know them. About nothing. I'm going to show you how old Korean men finishes off their meal, okay? Not every old Korean man, but the little bit obnoxious one, okay? Here we go. Ah, I ate it. Oh, I ate it. Oh, I ate Obnoxious ones, not everyone, okay? Remember, when the rice is gone, the mukbang is done. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Tang Gangs. Bye, Tang Gangs. Say bye, Tang Gangs. Up here. Why are you so cute? Love you. Mm. Ew. You can't waste the sauce.